Okay, guys. Um, mobile phones. Big distraction. Right? Probably one of the biggest problems you'll face is these mobile phones and the, the impact they have on our lives. The distraction they provide to us um, is just frankly horrific. Right? And we need to come up with ways to defend ourselves against this. And I've come to the conclusion, I think a lot of people come to the conclusion that you need something more than just pure willpower if you're going to take control of your, your phone addiction. Because, you know, there's only so much you can do with willpower. And there's, you know, these tech giants, these, you know, people split testing all these different apps to make sure that you stay on them for long periods of time. There's so many businesses rely on social media uh, consumption. You know, there's so much money being pumped into making these apps and our phones themselves as addictive as possible. So I've come to the conclusion anyway myself that you need a plan. You need some kind of protocol um, to, to support you in this. You can't just rely on willpower. You can't just rely on yourself going, no, I'm not going to go on my phone. You know, because you, you'll catch yourself with a weak moment. You know, we all have weak moments. And like, unless you're some next level guy, you're going to need more of a protocol. Fortunately for us, such protocols do exist. You know, um, they are out there. And we're still early on in sort of establishing, I mean, it's quite an exciting time really. I think this, we're still quite early on in finding like ways that we can actually sort of beat our addiction to mobile phones. Um, but people are starting to find ways. And I'm just going to do, this isn't a sort of full protocol, but these are just three things that I am doing or I'm going to do that are, that are helping me get rid of my reliance on my phone, getting rid of my addiction to my phone. Um, so I don't normally make sort of videos like this, um, but in the absence of a full protocol, these are just kind of the first ideas I've had of, of what, what is helping me come off my phone. Um, and yeah, so the first thing guys is going to be to buy yourself a watch. And the reason for this is because basically what you want to do with looking at your phone to, to avoid looking at your phone is just engineer moments in your life where you stop yourself from looking at your phone. And a huge proportion of the amount of times you look at your phone is just to check the time. It's not even you're wanting to go on it um, and distract yourself. It's just literally the, the quite necessary desire to um, just look at the time on your phone. And if you have a watch instead, you will stop that flow of that. All those times when you would go on your phone to check the time, you can just look at your watch instead. Uh, this has other benefits. It's much easier just to just to check your watch. Uh, so I've got this quite this this watch here. It's, it's actually much easier just to check your watch than it is to pull out your phone and look at it anyway. Um, so it's, it's something you will do if you, if you go to the trouble of, of buying a watch. Um, you know, we have this thing of like, watches have to be terribly expensive. Um, I don't think, I mean, the watch that I have cost me literally £10. Um, I don't see it as like, a, it's not really a status it's a symbol so much, whatever, which is usually what watches are about. It's purely practical. Um, but it's, it's just a lovely thing to have. I mean, you know, e even without the benefit of not looking at your phone, um, I would still recommend just buy a watch just because it's nice to have. Um, that's the first thing, guys. And you're just cutting off all those times where you're just looking at your phone to check the time. Um, and the reason it's important to cut those times off is because how many times have you gone on your phone with the intention of actually getting distracted by it? You know, may maybe some of the time, but most of the time it's kind of an accident, right? And where do most of those accidents start? Well, they start by just looking at your phone for something fairly benign. And what that is a lot of the time is to check the time. Um, 
so already you've you've slashed off. I don't I don't know how much it would be. Maybe you guys um, let me know in the comments, but it's got to be you know a third, half of the amount of times that you check your phone, maybe more. Um, it's probably because just to check the time. So already you've slashed off half the about half the time you're going to check your phone during the day. Um, now it's not going to cure your phone addiction. You know you're still gonna want to procrastinate. You're still going to end up on it, but probably one of the biggest, um, one of the biggest sort of sources of going your phone is going to be, is going to be disappear, is going to disappear. So that's the first thing, guys. Bar watch. Um, the second thing is, and this sounds a bit weird, but take more naps. So what I mean by this is. A lot of the time when I find I'm distracted by my phone is is when I have sort of low low willpower um, and often quite kind of bored and unmotivated um, and you know your brain's a kind of dopamine seeking um, thing you know it'll want to seek dopamine in what it does <coughs> and um, the phone provides that quite easily. So when you're tired and bored, you'll end up going on your phone and um, yeah, it's quite, it, you'll, you'll have very low level of resistance to, to do that. But often in this situation where I find myself, I'm tired and I'm not, I'm not motivated to do anything um, and I'm, I'm, I have that inclination to go on my phone, it sounds a bit weird, but I'll literally just lie down and, and have a nap and just close my eyes for... 20, 30 minutes. You know, obviously, you don't have to go to sleep, but just lie there in, in the quiet um, and just kind of rest, you know. And I literally did it earlier on today where I was, I was going on my phone, I, you know, went on to Instagram, went on to Instagram Reels, and I thought, hold on a minute, um, what am I doing? And I just went off the Instagram app, went onto my timer, and just put a timer for five minutes. And I was literally in the, in the sofa in, in the kitchen. I just put a time for five minutes and then click go and I just um, put the phone away and just uh, put my head down and shut my eyes um, <laughs> and just had a little nap. And within like a few minutes of, of doing that, I was suddenly like, I, you know, because my brain was kind of relaxed, got an idea to go up and um, do other stuff. I went and played the piano for a bit, went and did some ironing, you know. Um, so that's one solution basically for if you're if you're kind of at a loose end, if you're not busy during the day, you're at home, um, you know, that's a big time when the phone is gonna sort of catch you. And um, you know, I've said this in a lot of videos before, but like think about like a dog, you know, a dog doesn't sort of worry about, you know, uh oh, when I when should I have a nap, you know. I feel, I feel like I've got a lot of bi this sort of bioengineering space is very like, oh, have a nap at this specific time, you know. Um, but um, realistically, like, if you're, if you're tired enough that you're, you haven't got the willpower to stay off your phone, then just go and have a nap, you know. Um, yeah, so that's another thing you can do, take more naps. And now the last thing is something a bit different. And this is something that I actually haven't done yet. So the first two are ones that I've already sort of put into practice and I'm seeing the results of. Uh, this last one is some, it, this is the real killer, basically. So the first two, <laughs> you know, they kind of, it's going up in, in terms of, in terms of effectiveness. This last one is going to do the most potential, I think. It's going to do the most damage to your phone addiction. And that is to have a three day fast from technology. Um, now you might say like, well, duh, obviously, uh, it's not as easy as that. But what I mean by this is basically set aside three days or three nights is might be more practical for most people. Three days or three nights to just go specifically without your phone and nothing else. Um, and this kind of coincides with a practice that um, I've seen talks about a lot. Hamza talks about this which is the sort of finding your purpose um, practice where you go away from your own hometown 
uh, you, you know, where, where you live. Um, and you go off to a nearby sort of, hotel, it could be a hotel, Airbnb, whatever, and just sit there in that foreign environment and do nothing but just think for, um, for three days. And this is great because you're in a new environment, so you're much more open-minded than you usually would be. And you're in this new environment, so you're not sort of distracted. And what you'll do is you'll start to sort of reconnect to things that are authentic to you. Um, and a big part of this practice of finding your purpose is not to go on your phone. So if you don't go... If you go on your phone, it provides distraction, deviates you from connecting to a more authentic part of yourself, right? Goes without saying. So anyway, this this process of um, not not only does it sort of help you find your purpose, but coupled with it is it's a great way to sap your um, your reliance on technology. So what what I recommend you to do is is exactly this, just. Um, just go to a hotel, go to a Airbnb, you know, doesn't have to be somewhere expensive. It's, it's going to cost, you know, 200, 300 pounds to do, um, might maybe more, but you know, the thing in life is, is you've got to invest money, you know, to get, to get real big results. So, you know, if you're, if you're sort of, if you want to take your addiction to screens and getting rid of that remotely seriously, I think it's well worth the money. Go to a hotel, go to an Airbnb. Um, another thing you could do, which I've been thinking of doing, is just get your, if you've got a car, drive to some nearby forest um, and just camp out in your car for a few days. Buy a little, ma you can get these kind of car mattresses that you could buy. Uh, just camp out there somewhere. Um, you know, something like that, where you're just away from, you, ha you have to be away from, your own house, your own flat, because there you're kind of imprisoned by your ha habitual tendencies to go on your phone. So you need to be somewhere completely different. And just spend that time in, in solitude. Or, you know, if you've got a friend that you, that, that's on a similar wavelength, maybe do it with, with them, you know, uh, and you two can just go, go for some walks together in, in nature. You know, um, that's the other thing, where, where you stay, Preferably should be quite near nature, so you can kind of reconnect with your um, <coughs> with your sort of original essence, and yeah, just do this for three days and just see what it does to your brain to spend that long without a phone, um, reconnecting to a more authentic part of you, and then. See how see how your relationship with your phone changes. Now that's not going to destroy your your relationship with your phone. Obviously, it's a constant thing, but I think these kind of big decisive moves, where you just really do something quite radical to separate yourself from your phone, um, is the stuff that's really going to make the difference. And that's the other thing, guys. Like um, if you can avoid it, don't take your phone with you on this this fast. Um, if you have to, like, whatever, because you got some, you know, you need to pay for stuff or whatever. Um, what you can do, uh, what I would do is is take your phone in with you and then find a drawer in wherever you're staying and just put your phone in it. And then this is the important part, take that drawer shut um, because that sort of sim symbolically is, is going to be very significant. Um, and... They talk about uh, this in the book, uh, Deep Work by Cal Newport. Uh, what he says is you want to give a kind of, uh, it's, it's a bit unrelated, but it can kind of be applied to this. So he talks about doing a grand gesture. Like if you've got a piece of work that you want to get done, that's really important. One thing that you can do is just have a sort of grand gesture where you just, you go somewhere that, kind of costs money so you have to like take it seriously um and then you'll get it done and he talks about an example of someone he knew who got on a plane you know obviously not everyone can do this but 
he got on a plane to Japan specifically so he could write a novel because he wouldn't be distracted. Now, it's an extreme example, uh, but it's the same thing here. Uh, if you really want to detach from your phone addiction, you've got to do something radical like a three-day fast. And you've got to put money on the table so you can go somewhere where um, you take it seriously and you won't be distracted. Um, so that's my three tips, guys. And there's actually one more thing that I'm just going to say that I just, just remembered that is kind of a, a bonus for, fourth one, which is uh, to turn off all the notifications on your phone. So I talked about earlier how like when you're on your phone and you're going to look at the time and stuff like that, um, often the way, the way you'll end up going on your phone is because you'll look at the time and then you'll see a bunch of notifications pop up and you think, oh shit, I've got to reply to them. Um, but... You can just uh, you can disable notifications manually on um, on settings and turn it to do, do not disturb as well. I would recommend doing both. Um, and then even if you do look at your phone to check the time or whatever it is, um, you won't be so tempted to to go on whatever apps because you haven't got like a, a sort of reason to go on there. Um, and also your phone won't be buzzing, so you won't have to check it um, and then go on it once you've once you checked it and then get distracted. So that's the fourth one for you guys. Um, obviously, this is like a work in progress. I think, you know, like I say, my plan is to go on a sort of three day fast of a phone at some point. Um, and, you know, I'm very interested to see how my relationship will change um, over that that um that time period um but obviously it takes time to set up to do that um and so the other two are great places to start in the meantime the other thing i'll say about three day fast so what, what i'm going to do is um so if you have like a nine to five job or, or school or college or whatever what you can do is oh because obviously you don't have, really have three full days free but but I think that's why I say three nights is is pretty good uh, for a start. So what you can do is Friday, finish work or school or whatever, and then go, instead of going home, go straight to the, the hotel. And then you have one night, you have the Friday night without your phone, you have Saturday night without your phone, and you have Sunday night without your phone. And the Monday morning, get up early and then just go to to work that's that's how i plan to do it if you've got like a a nine to five or something like that um i mean if you can take time off to to have a full three days then definitely go for it you know um i think the three day the third day is where things really start to kick in with this um but yeah um that's basically it guys